During World War II, the Japanese didn't really develop any armored cars or armored personnel carriers on a large scale. What they did have were some limited produced vehicles like the Type 93, the Toyota armored car and a few railway cars like the Type 91 Como. They also bought 11 British made Vickers Crossley armored cars and called them the Type 87. The only two armored cars that came close to an armored personnel carrier was the Type 1 OH, a APC based on the German Hennoberg half track, and the Type 1 OK artillery tractor that also could be used as an APC. Development of these APCs started in 1941. Both these vehicles were based on the Hanemach but didn't have the same interleaving road wheel system, and the only thing that was copied over was the two leaf door design. And even that doesn't look really similar, so in the end I think that everything Hanemach was dropped in the end. The Type 1 Oki production started in 1942, but because the army didn't really see any value in a slow moving APC, there wasn't much effort placed in the development of these vehicles, and eventually the Hoa production was delayed until 1944. It's also not known how many of these vehicles were produced. But this didn't mean the Japanese had no armored cars, because they did develop several tankettes like the Type 92, the Type 94 and the Type 97 Teke. Because of the Japanese social structures, they designated these vehicles as armored cars. And see my Teke walkaround video for more about this. But most of these vehicles weren't designed for direct combat and were only used for recon missions. After World War II, the Japanese were given the option to buy several M8 Greyhounds, but only a limited number were bought, mainly because of the Japanese infrastructure and the badly maintained roads. The Japanese army didn't find these vehicles to have any value in these conditions, and development of any armored fighting vehicles started after the roads and infrastructure of Japan had improved sometime in the 1980s. の車は、87式偵察警戒車と言いまして、え、機銃弾に頼る走行と、はい。今回ドリームカーガールが見に来たこの車両は陸上自衛隊に配備されている 87式 Several APCs and ARVs were developed during the 80s and the 90s. Vehicles like the Type 87 Armored Personnel Vehicle, which started its development in 1982 and was finished in 1987, and is still in service today. Based upon the research done on the Type 87, development started on a new APC, and this would bring about the Type 96. This APC can carry 8 infantrymen, but this vehicle will be slowly phased out by a new APC that was introduced in 2017. Tracked vehicles were a different story, and Japan would start development on a fully tracked armored personnel carrier in 1956. Two prototypes would be completed by Komatsu and Mitsubishi in 1975. These were tested against the American M59. Other 11 prototypes would follow, which could carry an 81mm and a 107mm Montar. Several more prototypes were tested in 1959 and the production started in 1960. The Type 60 would eventually be replaced by the Type 73 APC, but would stay in service until 2006 after 430 were built. Along the Type 73 that's being used by the Japanese Self-Defense Force is the Mitsubishi Type 89, and that's the vehicle we're looking at today. Development of the Type 89 started in 1980s by Mitsubishi Heavy Industries and Komatsu, and four prototypes were tested until 1968. Production started in 1989, and it went into service that same year. 
It would fit a two-man turret with the gunner on the left side and the commander on the right. This turret mounts the Orlincon Contrafas 35mm caliber dual feed cannon and it would also have the Type 74 machine gun and the Type 79 missile system on each side of the turret. And it's also outfitted with a laser warning system. The main troop compartment has room for 7 infantrymen and the hull compartment has 6 firing ports on each side and one in the back. A total of 300 Type 89 are planned to be made, but until now only 120 were produced and only 68 of them are in service with the Japanese Self-Defense Force today. I hope you enjoyed this video and in the last few episodes of this series we're going to have a look at some more armored cars and vehicle development in the Japanese military. And also have a look at some of the mobile artillery vehicles. So have a great weekend and see you in the next episode.